Hey guys, this is Allie for Allison from Allie Cat Creations. How are you? I'm hanging in. So today I'm going to do an oracle reading with all fire, water, air, earth. So right now I'm going to do fire. If you like my videos, if they resonate with you, please hit the like button. Please help me. Please. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. And if, uh, if you're interested in a private reading, all the information will be down in the description box below. Let's get it started. And I'm still working with no flat surface. So what I'm gonna do is actually get some tarot down because I'm loving this rune deck. So spirit, what does the fire signs need to know? I do apologize about my nails. I am broke, cannot afford nail polish remover. <laughs> so I'm going to do the Norn, Norns spread so we have the full. We have the Eight of Shields. And we have the Four of Wands. Sorry if you, I'm trying so you guys can see that. So I'll bring it up the full. So the full is what do you desire? What skill do you possess to make this happen? And the chances of success, does fate give it if you weave the strands together? So we're going to read about the runic tarot. The fool in the tarot suit appears as a beginning, a middle, or an end of a sequence. Do not overburden yourself. This is to have faith, begin a journey, freedom, push through the challenges. And the rune here is Jera. And that's the harvest, joy, natural things. It's the year. Jera contains the joy in arising and watching the world change between the cycles. So fire signs, it looks like we have a desire of change, that things need to change. We're about to harvest something. I've been seeing a lot of um, tarot readers pull for especially Aries. Um, a lot of changes are happening. I don't know about the other signs. Um, but interestingly enough for myself, I'm a Leo in a, a, almost all of my charts. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. 
and my fire sign the whole the almost my entire chart okay so we have eight of shields and this is what skills do we need to possess runes take time and practice the eight of shields shows how this time honored and precious skill gets passed down from Elaz to apprentice. It takes time to learn the shape of each rune, what it is called, how to sing it, breathe the energy into the item they're placing the rune on. There is no room for error. Viking warriors expect to be fully protected in battle. The holes need to protect and heal their occupants. Learning the skills takes years and practice and time. Apply yourself, hone your talent, learning the skill, encouragement, diligence. So we're being asked right now that there is a change that is in our coming. The skill that we need to, whatever it is that you're learning or you do, you need to hone in on. And whatever that skill is that you possess, can you make this happen? I'm guys, I'm getting. And then we have a ceremony of joining occurs in the woods. These two people have come together to form the foundation of a family. They fall in love with each other's spirit and desire to walk down the flowing path as one. The four of wands is a card of celebration. So this celebrating, accepting support when you need it, create a solid foundation, enjoy the process, feeling complete. So we have changes coming in. We have honing down on your skills. I mean, both of these runes are, are really good. Laguz is the flow and we have Burkana which is family and coming together. So we might have somebody that you might be joining in with this venture of making, creating, birthing to bringing it into fruition. So this is looking really good. So those of you who are in a situation where you are in career or even a relationship, like something is changing we need to hone in our skills and we're going to be birthing. I really like that. Spirit, what? What advice do you have for the fire signs? What do the fire signs need to know, spirit? Ah, sorry guys, Lift that up a little bit. Spirit, what did the fire signs need to know? What did the fire signs need to know, spirit? So we got dance with life, doing something to change your energy. Life is always moving. If you resist this ever-changing flow, your energy will become stagnant and you will fall out of the flow with the universe. The universe has a mysterious, intelligent force, a natural rhythm beat, which governs all of life. One of the best ways to shift your energy, frequency, and vibration is to put on some music and dance along with it. If dancing isn't your thing, then simply do something that you would not usually do to shift the energy. 
you can't solve a problem with the same mind that created it and you cannot attract a different experience without changing your energy first it's time to shift things up and to find a way to dance along with the beat of life that fits about right there and then we have sisterhood of the rose One bad thing about this. Beauty and devotion, priestess, mystic teacher. The Sisterhood of the Rose is a lineage of priestesses and mystics who devoted their lives to serving humanity and seeding light consciousness all over the earth. A cross section of ancient lineages, it is the path of devotion and beauty. Walking this path means being devoted to seeing and creating beauty wherever you go. The rose symbolizes the heart and sacred geometry of all life. You are being called to notice the beauty around you, particularly in nature, and hear the whispers of Mother Earth. You are being called to take a little more time to both notice the beauty that exists all around you and contribute to the beauty of the world in your own way, too. This could be through your own creations or in the little things like how you dress to picking flowers for your home. Every time you devote your time to create beauty, you'll harmonize the planet a little more and shift the vibration can be felt. Absolutely. What messages do you have for the fire signs? Airy Leo, Sagittarius. What messages do you have for the fire signs? Guys, remember, if you like this reading so far, please hit the like button. Please help me. I appreciate it. Spirit, what messages do you have for the fire signs? Remember, guys, this is a general reading, so take what fits. If it doesn't resonate with you, I have plenty of other timeless readings, so don't you worry. We have Covenant. Hope you can see that. Commitment, sacred contract, the greater good. You are being invited now by the universe to enter into a sacred, sacred contract. The covenant card may also be a call to recognize that an ancient agreement you made with spirit needs to be renewed or canceled and torn up. Is an opportunity showing up right now that is full of promise, but you are unable to sign and seal the deal and commit to it? The reason is that it needs to be elevated to a sacred covenant. A covenant must be founded on the truth, not your truth or his truth or her truth, but a greater truth that takes the destiny of all into account. The covenant is not about your agenda only. Spirit must be invited to come to the table as a guarantor of the good faith of all and to ensure that the direction you are embarking in will be for the greater good. It's important that you understand what you are signing up for. Be sure to read the fine print so as not to commit to anything you will soon regret or that will compromise your integrity. 
do not hesitate to put all your own cards on the table so that your motives and desires are transparent and nothing is left in darkness. When shadow elements remain hidden, the covenant breaks down and becomes a contract with an unspoken dark side that is inevitably fulfilled. So guys, like we are birthing, we have a change happening with the full card in a good way. We have to start birthing our creations to manifest things. And then we have the desired outcome is things are going to be amazing. And there might be somebody that we might be signing a contract with that we need to make sure we're getting things properly done. We need to make sure we're thinking differently and we're dancing with life and know the beauty in things. Know that you are a teacher and a mystic. Spirit. What messages do you have for the fire signs? Spirit, what do you have for the fire signs? What advice? All right, two came out, so we'll take it. I can see why we have two cards. We have Aspen Spirit. The Aspen Spirit card has shown up in your life today. It brings a message of courage, protection, community, and the ability to face and overcome obstacles in your life. Know that you are protected and you are safe. You are ready to step forward with courage and grace, no matter what seems to be blocking your way. The Aspen's network of roots is a sign that you should be open to support from others. Combine your efforts with like-minded individuals. You do not need to do it all alone. This may be a good time to bond with people over a creative project or a community endeavor. The spirit of the Aspen says the energy of your inner spirit warrior is ready to step forward and to face any challenges or blockages in life. Be willing to accept help. Help. Be fearless. Yes. So, I mean, that really does speak to everything happening with, again, a covenant, another person entering. Asking others for help or being a part of something. And this is forest temple enlightenment. Meditate on the light within you and around you. Connect with the ever-present energy of divine. Right now, your awareness is increasing. Your ability to understand the world is shifting. More and more, you can see situations from all points of view. And this creates an expansion in all parts of your life. This card can also reflect times when you are seeing the world from only your personal point of consciousness, which is dramatically restricting possibilities for you. A one-sided admit view of life can block a vast influx of light, joy, and connection to the creator. Strict adherence to your beliefs can obstruct wonderful opportunities from flooding your life. Be willing to step outside your limited 
points of view and see the world from others' perspectives and your life will expand. The spirit of the forest temple says positive changes are coming. You are lighting up, feel buoyant and free. Your connection to spirit is deepening. All beliefs about who you are and what you deserve in life are falling away, replaced by incredible new paths. So if my fire sides, things are definitely looking up and looking amazing, which is really good news. I know a lot of people are suffering and struggling right now. Spirit, what do you have for the fire signs? What messages do you have for the fire sign spirit? What messages do you have for spirit for the fire signs? Believe in the impossible. So if we're feeling really like we don't know what's going on and things are not happening and believe in the impossible, put the vibe out there that everything is possible. And then we have balanced spirituality and practicality. So absolutely no, you can, you need to balance your spirituality with being realistic about things, right? I always find that very important. Spirit, what messages do you have for the fire signs? What messages do you have for the fire signs? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Spirit, what do you have? What messages do you have for this, the fire signs? What messages do you have for the fire signs? Soul star activation, fulfilling soul contracts, remember who you are. So what's interesting is we have covenant, sacred contract, and then we having this, which is basically saying fulfilling soul contracts, remember who you are. And then solar light upgrade, solar plexus chakra, inner fire, willpower. So if you are on the spiritual side, this is a maybe a chakra that we need to start activating. Here, what does the fire signs need to know?
So guys, right now, it wouldn't be a bad idea to ground yourself and to go into yourself and find out, do it like a past life meditation, find out who and what your purpose here is. If we're not feeling like we know what's going on, whether it be a relationship, whether it be a career, sometimes the answers are within and sometimes we're being blocked, which we need to unblock. But again, believe in the impossible. And then we need to balance because we need to put action into things. So far, this is looking really good. Spirit, what advice do you have for the fire signs? What advice do we have for the fire signs? We have focus. So know whatever you are trying to create right now and bring into manifestation, you need to focus your efforts in doing that. So whether it be a project, a channel you're working on, a podcast, you're at work and you're feeling stagnant, find something that you could do and focus on it to improve it. And then your outcome will come. And then we have this cute little kitty cat, the moon. This is a sign you must trust your gut, your instincts and intuition will lead the way through the darkness. When you choose the moon symbol, when you choose the symbol of the moon as your guide, you know that it is necessary to look beyond the obvious to know the truth of things. Sometimes people will say one thing and you have a weird feeling that they mean something else altogether. You have this power. You are being asked to use it now. Choose another card for a deeper look and what's really going behind the scenes, which is focus. So focus in. on what is it that you're working on, whether it be a relationship or a career. Spirit, what messages do you have for the fire signs? What advice do you have for the fire science spirit? What messages do you have for the fire science? What messages do you have for the fire science? Light, it is time to reveal your radiant light to the world. Creation, brain, brain creative, being creative is a wonderful way of witnessing the unfolding of limitless creative soul. Again, here we are being creative. Magnificence, you are amazing, magnificent, and unique, but most importantly, you are enough. Yes, yeah, so just know right now, if you're going through a hard time, you are enough. 
Don't let that get you. Okay, spirit. What do you have for the fire signs? What do they need to know? what messages do you have for the fire signs? Spirit, what do you have for the fire signs? What messages do you have for the fire signs? I don't put them back in their little boxes, guys. It like it gets really bad. <laughs> Sorry for the wait. One enchanted evening, a perfect night. So, guys, like the dancing with life. Make sure you're spending some time either with the significant other or yourself and give yourself a, a little nice night. The elements, the elements of fire, air, earth, and water combine to create powerful protective boundaries, spiritual, mental, physical, and emotional. So maybe at this time you need to be incorporating all of those elements into grounding into whatever you are doing on a spiritual level. Triple moon, embracing all aspects of yourself the divine and the earthly. Guys, I had a few cards not in the right spot. Spirit, what message do you have for the fire signs? After this deck, I'm going to do an overall from my ruin deck, and then I'm going to get a message from Spirit directly. Here, what does the fire signs need to know? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have series, nurture. Mother and be mothered, nurture and cultivate that which is growing, whether it's, a, it's the harvest from the earth, the children from the womb, or the art from the artist. Real love can be mean, tough love, doing what's best for your beloved, even if they hate you for it. Love and nurture your own body with healthy, whole foods. Take them as communion with the organic world. Feel the earth beneath you are holding you, loving you through hard times. Let this abundance flow through you and to others. Do not mistake smothering, enabling, or infiltrate, infiltrate. Sorry, guys. Do not mistake smothering, enabling actions as signs of love. 
Once you release the ob object of your care, your life is not over. A, a new mystery begins. There is sacredness in your daily life, loving, feeding, nurturing, gardening, and being in family, whether chosen or biological, or all a part of powerful spiritual path. The mother holds on to you. So guys, again, it, it seems like right now, this reading is all about being focused, knowing that you're birthing something into creation, that you're, you're putting it forward into the stratosphere. And you need to have some courage, believe in the impossible, Filling some soul contracts, you have contracts happening. So if it's something that you don't want, just make sure you're looking into it. You need to be focused. Know that you're a divinely protected. You need to, everything here seems to that there's a change happening. You need to have balance. You need to be creative and playful. You need to have the courage to step up, to see the beauty and things. It looks, everything looks like you're going to get divinely aligned with something really good. Spirit, what is the overall feel for the fire signs? What is the overall feel for the fire signs? Isa, why are we frozen? This card is associated with ice and frozen water and generally indicates a blockage, standstill, or a lack of action in some area of your life. This could be a loss of physical energy or a mental fog or a psychological block that paralyzes you. This stasis will likely cause frustrating delays in your life, but instead of fighting the obstacle, the card advises you to stay calm and conserve your energy. Sometimes there is nothing you can do but wait for a change in circumstances. Bid your time because the ice will melt. As far as relationships are concerned, this card points to icy tension and possible conflict that feels like it cannot be resolved. There is an urgent need to objectively and concentration now. You need to decide whether you are going to invest any more of your warmth and energy into a certain relationship to see if the ice will thaw or if time to gently and calmly let it drift away. So you can apply that with just about everything with this person either coming in or leaving or the change that has to happen because you need to have a balance but it's contracted to you in some form or another. But you need to go within, all right. Spirit, how are you helping the fire signs at this moment in time? Spirit, how are you helping the fire signs at this time? Mm 
Spirit, how are you helping the fire signs at this time? For anybody that is new to watching my cards, I feel the card vibration. Um, and that helps me pick out which card is needed. Almost there. We have the Pearl Sharrow. Taking responsibility for your experiences empowers you. You are going to resolve an issue through spiritual inspiration and higher guidance. You will rise up in full connection to your spirit and access a wealth of divine treasure. That which has brought darkness into your world shall submit to the light and be transformed. Have courage and commitment to your awakening for you are precious being and can go far on the spiritual path this lifetime. This oracle has emerged in your reading because you have the capacity to become a light bearer. Safeguard your energy, yet trust the light within is strong enough to see you through any struggle and eventually transform it into a precious pearl of sacred empowerment. You have the wisdom in your divinely alchemical heart. You shall rise with dignity. So not only are you fire signs, you are the light bearers, my friends, and you need to rise up and know that the, the universe is divinely protecting you and working with you at this time. That was amazing, fire signs. I really hoped you enjoyed that reading. I hope it helped you. If you're interested in a reading, the information will be down below. Please email me. I have other content on my page. Check it out if you're interested. Uh, I, I, I talk on some wild topics, but I do a lot of things. Hope you have a great one and see you on the next one. Bye.